Hi everyone, Devin Owens from the Garrett Music Academy here, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to properly hold drumsticks. Uh, so whether you are just getting started for the first time or have been playing for a really long time, good grip is very, very important to successful playing. Uh, if you have been playing for a while and are not holding the sticks the way I'm about to show you, that's okay. You can learn it. It might take a little bit longer, but it's totally worth it in the end. So, let's get started. All right, so first things first, um, you need to kind of figure out where your thumb is going to sit. So these are Vic Firth sticks here, and then what I usually like to do with these is uh, when my students come in for the first time, put your thumb on the American flag there, okay? That's kind of a good starting point. Now, you might ultimately end up moving a little bit up and down as you start to play drums a little bit more and get a little bit more comfortable. I actually hold my thumb just below the flag like that, okay? Uh, that is just kind of how I've found, you know, my, my grip tends to work the best and I tend to get the most speed, uh, you know, accuracy, control, things like that. So, but to start, that's usually a pretty good starting point if you're using Vic Firth sticks, okay? If you're using something else, um, you know, it should look kind of like this, should have a little bit hanging out at the bottom, you know, not a whole lot, but should look around about there. And if you have to, maybe make a little mark on your stick to kind of help you, you know, find that right spot every time. Okay. So your thumb should go there. And then your um, first finger should kind of wrap around it right about there. Okay. So see if you can see that angle there. And you want that kind of that first knuckle of your finger, not this one, but that one right on, on kind of the tip. All right. That first knuckle to kind of wrap around it like a cradle, okay? <laughs> Just like that. And you wanna do that on both hands, okay? So start with this, with those back fingers kinda of hanging out, okay? And then the next thing that you wanna do is just wrap those back fingers around, okay? They're not there uh, to hold onto the stick tightly though, okay? If you find that you hold onto the stick too tight, then you're gonna end up doing this when you play. You're gonna end up pointing like that and that's really bad. You absolutely do not want to do that. So those back fingers are really just there for support, but your main grip needs to be between your thumb and your first finger, and you still need to be able to pull the stick out. Like if you have like a death grip on this thing and it's really hard for you to pull the stick out, you know, then it's way too tight. So you need to be able to like, be able to easily pull the stick out of your hand like that, all right? So anyway, that's kind of the first step there with your uh, with with the sticks now the next thing is you want to make sure that your that your arms are down at your side they're not hanging way out like this they're not back or forward or anything like that they're down at your side okay um and then when you're playing you typically want to play with like your palms facing down like that okay okay and then uh you're going to be playing with your wrists all right you're going to be using your wrists like that okay you're not going to be playing with <laughs> you don't want to lift your hands way up. You don't want to be doing that when you're playing the first time. There is a time and a place to lift your hands up a little bit higher when you want to play louder. But day one should be no higher than about there. All right. So those are the couple things to keep in mind when you're playing. Um, you know, when I, when I play faster, I tend to play with my palms facing toward each other like that. I just get a little bit more speed that way. That's what's called French grip. Okay, the only way that you don't want to hold them, don't ever hold them like this. <laughs> That's just no good. <laughs> Especially like if you're, you know, got like a strong grip on your back fingers, you're pointing and your palms are facing up. That's terrible. And you're using your arms, you know, that's awful. Okay. Definitely just make sure you're holding it like this. Okay. Always get started right about there. You know, put your thumbs on that flag to start out. Like I said, they may, they may end up moving over time, but start there, wrap those fingers around, arms at your side. Okay. Uh, palms facing toward the ground, and then just play like this. Just using your wrist, not a lot of arm movement, just using your wrist. And that's basically it. All right, so I hope that video was helpful for you. Uh, like I said, if you're a new drummer or you've been playing for a long time, hopefully that helped a little bit on clearing some things up as far as like how to properly hold the six. Okay, uh, if I missed anything or if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a comment. I'd love to hear from you, um, even if it's just like, hey, appreciate, you know, the information. Love to hear from you. So I hope you all have a safe and happy week, and I will catch up with you on the next one. Until then, keep playing.